All right, day two with our Heart Adventure Obstacle Course. Grades three through five, I get a little bit more in depth and cover a few more details than we did on day one. Day one was just our size, location, and the jobs of both the heart and the lungs. And today we're going to talk a little bit ab about some of the parts of the heart with our older students. So I like to tell them that the heart is like a house, our house that has four rooms. We call those rooms chambers. We have two of the rooms that are upstairs and two of the rooms are downstairs. The rooms that are upstairs are called atriums. We have a right and a left atrium. We also have a right and left ventricle. We remember A is pointing towards the top. It looks like an arrow pointing up, so atriums are at the top. V, the ventricle, looks like an arrow pointing down, so we say ventricles are at the bottom of the heart. We have two rooms painted red, two rooms painted blue. Red rooms are the side that deals with oxygenated blood. The blue ones have deoxygenated blood or the waste product carbon dioxide. In order to get from room to room, you have to travel through a doorway to go from the upstairs rooms to the downstairs rooms. And when you leave the heart, you have to exit either the right or left side through a doorway as well. These doors are called valves and anywhere on the course, they have one of these archways. That represents a valve of our heart. Veins and arteries. <clears throat> Veins bring blood into the heart and arteries take blood away from the heart. The word vein has the word in in it. So veins bring blood in and A for away. Arteries take blood away from the heart. The biggest takeaway I want the kids to leave with when they finish the course this week is to understand the pathway that it circulates. <clears throat> So the blood comes in there on the uh, right side of the heart, which is the blue side. It has no oxygen. It's going to be pumped up to the lungs. Once it has the oxygen, it goes into the other side where it can be pumped out to all the body parts that need it. The cycle happens over and over again. That's the big takeaway, and that's why we do our Heart Adventure Obstacle Course.